Hi Ajay, good afternoon. How are you? Ah, good, very good afternoon, sir. Fine, sir. Okay, can you tell us something about yourself? Ah, yes, sir. My name is Ajay, sir. I am from Kamaradi. I recently completed my graduation, sir, in this year 2022 mm -hmm. in BSc Computers with aggregate 84%, sir. About my technical skills, I have a good knowledge of Java Oops concept, sir, and I trained three months which is including testing, software, and manual, sir. Mm -hmm. That's it, sir. Okay. Which are the tools and technology that you are aware of, apart from Java? Java, Eclipse, sir. I use Eclipse. What is Eclipse? Sir, Eclipse is an app, sir. It's a software to write coding. It uh, regularly releases new versions. Okay, so you can say, you can say Eclipse is an IDE, right? Similar to Eclipse, ah, yeah. we have got IntelliJ as well, right? So these are all the tools in which you can write the code, you can perform uh, programming, you can do programming, right? So these are integrated development environments, right? Okay, so, sir. Fine. Okay, so in three months that you have taken software testing training, what all things uh, you have learned? Uh, sir, first uh, I traded three months manual mm. testing, sir. After mm. that, Selenium, sir. Selenium with Java I learned. Okay. After completion of Selenium, frameworks test engine and mm. must, uh, some knowledge on Cucumber API testing mm. and frameworks concept. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do you know about Selenium? Sir, Selenium is your automation tool, sir. Mm -hmm. Selenium supports the all languages. Selenium is... Which languages, yeah, which languages do we support in Selenium? Sir, it supports Java, Python, Rupee, mm -hmm. C dash. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, that's, I know, sir. Java... It's a platform independent. Yeah, platform independent. What do you mean by platform independent? It accepts all languages, sir. That's mm -hmm. one reason. No, no. So platform independent is one of the feature of Java, right? It is not a feature of Selenium, okay. right? So okay. there are few very basic features of Java in that one of the feature is platform independent, right? Or else they might also ask you in an interview, why do you prefer going for Java language compared to another other languages, right? Java is open source, sir. That's the main reason. Yes, yes. It's open source and there are various reasons also behind that. We'll come to that. The object yeah. into programming language. Yes. Okay. For now, let me share my screen. Okay. okay. Now you are supposed to test this particular page. Are you able to see my screen? Ah, yes, sir. Yes, username, password. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a SBI application login, appli uh, login page, right? Yes, sir. And you are supposed to test this particular page. Okay. Hmm? So can you tell me okay. high level test scenarios? How will you test this page? Sir, first of all, we write one test scenario. Under test scenario, we write test cases, sir. In the test cases, we involve username, password, field okay. level okay. test. Hold cases. on, hold on. Hold on, Ajay. So okay. when I say test scenario, those are different from test cases. So what is the difference uh, between test scenario and test cases? Sir, so, test scenario is your one line statement. It's still mm. what is going to do in the this process. Mm. Test, every every user story contain at least one test scenario, mm. but one test scenario contain multiple test cases. That is mm. the difference between test case and test scenario. Sir. Mm. Okay, so test cases you will say those are detailed level of detailed information about what we are going to write. Right? Yes. Very nice. You are knowing the answers. So you will have to speak up in an interview. You will have to articulate them in an interview. Right. You will okay. your presentation skills. You need to improve a bit over here. Right. Now okay. tell me high level test scenarios of a login screen. User able to log in, sir. Okay. High level. So how how user will be able to log in? You will have to give some username. You will have to provide some password password right so what 
username password you will provide there there are again permutations and combinations in that like valid username invalid password invalid username valid password both are valid both valid username valid password invalid username invalid password right yes so speak up these kind of things okay okay sir. Hmm. in while entering username we hmm. do functional testing uh, mm. field level testing sir mm. what kind of uh, its numeric data or alphabetic data it might check that's it sir so, so how will you tell the test scenario so you can tell verify username field accepts alphanumeric characters verify mm. username field accepts only alphabetic characters verify username field accepts only numeric characters this is how you have to tell the test scenarios in an interview okay fine sir. Hmm. Okay, great. Which are the other functionality? Can you can you tell me more test scenarios? There are a lot of functionalities on this page, right? Uh, yes, sir. One is for username. Mm -hmm. One is for password. Okay. Um, one is for new user. One is for registration uh, uh, account. And mm -hmm. one is forgot password. And one is login password. That's it, sir. Okay. So these are the functionalities that you are seeing. But how will you test them? How will you validate whether these functionalities are working fine or not? Using manual testing, otherwise we right. are using automation also, it's possible, sir. Right. So you will perform yeah. manual testing, you will perform auto test automation. But which are the test scenarios that you will test? How will you test whether forgot username pass login password is working fine or not? How will you test? You need to tell me high level test scenarios by using automation sir that's okay okay now this is the uh, approach that you will take whether you will do manual testing or you will do automation testing but what i am expecting over here is the test scenario for example you will have to uh, tell if this kind of question is asked to you in an interview you will have to tell verify forgot username functionality works fine or not now if i click on forgot username then what happens is uh, you will receive an email on your other email address or you might receive some OTP on your mobile, some kind of authentication. So next test scenario would be verify the OTP is received on the mobile or verify the, uh, the code is received on the existing uh, email address or mobile number through which you have registered, right? Then there is an uh, capture option verify the image capture box so when you enter same capture is displayed over here it should allow you to log in then you will also do negative testing you will enter incorrect capture uh, intentionally right and then you will test whether it is uh, able to handle that you are not able to log in it's that it should not allow you to log in right then comes audio capture what is audio capture how will you test audio capture so again test scenario for audio capture so we will verify whether you are able to listen to the capture listen audio. yeah audio properly or not right then once you enter the audio capture again positive test scenario if you enter a valid audio capture it should allow you to log in if you enter invalid audio capture it should not allow you to log in then reset but functionality is there, right? Everything should get reset. Then there is a refresh over here as well. So uh, you yes. just click on refresh so the code will get changed. Right? Then you will verify whether these links are working or not, whether this enable virtual keyboard is working or not. Okay. Now consider a scenario where uh, this enable virtual keyboard is not coming up. Okay. okay, after been checking this checkbox, it is not coming up. Now, what would be the severity and what would be the priority of this defect? Sir, severity is high, sir, mm -hmm. but no one impacts in this because only some people are using this, this mm -hmm. condition, sir. Okay. So you mean That's to say severity will be high, but priority will be low. Is that your answer? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. So let this be an open question for the people who are watching this video. What would be the severity and priority of this bug, of this defect in which if I'm checking this option, 
of enable virtual keyboard, then keyboard is not getting displayed. So what would be the severity and what would be the priority of this defect? Okay, fine. Okay. Now, Ajay, consider there is a functionality, right? You need to test, for example, as we were discussing about login page, right? There is similar other functionality which you have to perform, uh, in, which you have to test, you have to certify. So the test manager comes and tells you that Ajay, you need to perform uh, testing on this particular functionality and you need to give me a sign off by end of the day, right? So you have eight hours of time today with you. So which are the different types of testing that you will perform? Sir, what are different levels of testing? Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. first, uh, first is build verification and testing, sir. I done minimum required functional test case are working fine or not. Mm -hmm. Okay. After so that, types of types of testing. What which are the different types of testing that you will perform? Uh, it's different. Uh, first one is unit testing, sir. Mm -hmm. It's done by everyone. It's done by unit testing is done by development team, right? They have mm -hmm. tested from their end and they have deployed the build. Now that build is available in the test environment with you. How will you perform testing? Which are the different types of testing that you will perform? Mm, we do functional test cases, testing only. Functional testing, okay. That is one type of testing that you will do then. Mm, sanity testing. The new requirements are working fine as expected or not. Okay. Just to have less time, we most must concentrate on only functional test cases and GUI test cases. And this. Mm -hmm. GUI test cases that you will test. Okay. What else? Functional test cases, sir. Second. So yeah, so functional testing was the first type of testing you mentioned. Then you came to GUI. Then you came, then you covered sanity. Which are the other types of testing that you will perform? Regression testing, sir. Okay. That's it, sir. That's it. Okay. Sir. See, the very first thing that you will perform is the functional testing, right? Functional testing you will perform. The, okay, sorry. First of all, you will perform smoke testing, the high level testing, whether everything is working fine or not, right? The basic functionality. For example, if it's uh, related to payment, so you will just perform happy path testing, whether simple happy path is working fine or not. Then you can perform negative testing. You can perform functional. You can perform performance load testing. You can perform... GUI based testing, you can perform UI UX testing, right? You can perform compatibility testing. You can perform concurrent yes. testing. Okay, so this is how you will have to tell in an interview, which are the different types of testing that you will perform. The testing world is very big. It cannot be limited or restricted just to functional regression smoke. There are so many types of testing that you can perform. You can also perform security testing, right? Uh, yes. Security testing, uninstall testing, install testing, alpha testing. Okay. Installation uh, testing will come into the picture if it's a Windows-based, desktop-based application. If it's a web-based application, it won't come into the picture. So that also point you can add and then in a bracket and with the star conditions, you can mention that, that if it's a Windows-based, desktop-based, then this will come into the picture like that, right? So these are the different types of testing that you will have to tell in an interview, right? The more you tell, the more are the chances for you to get selected in an interview. Okay. okay. Now, can you tell me high level test scenarios of a pen drive? How will you test pen drive? High level test. Mm -hmm. Give a minute, sir. is connected with the computer or desktop mm. 
first of all it stored the data or not we verified that's main thing mm -hmm. yeah. it's i am testing the storage purpose one or what that's it all the friend pen drive features what else Yeah, I okay, not okay. okay, no worries. Okay, so. Now, uh, let me tell you the brief test scenarios for a pen drive. Okay, sir. Okay. Now, let us first of all cover the UI test scenarios. So, you will test the color of the pen drive, the pen drive casing, whether it is steel or plastic body, then hardware interface of the pen drive, you can check whether it is type C or uh, port size or, or sorry, port type, right? Then you can check the uh, specifications of the pen drive like uh, length, width, height, right then uh, which are the functional test scenarios so functional test scenarios as you were mentioning it very rightly the data should get stored right in a pen drive from a magnetic drive or like optical drives then written data should be can be retrieved right read back operation then data written or read from the pen drive should not get corrupted right then it should be able to handle all kinds of data like uh, video audio images right then uh, you can also test whether the LED of the pen drive is avail available. The LED of the pen drive should glow. Then whether uh, you can format all the files, those are being stored, right? You can also check the memory example. It's a 32 GB, 64 GB pen drive, right? Then you can check the compatibility of the pen drive with respect to various, uh, what do you say, various devices, right? Which all OSs are there. So this is how you can test this pen drive. Okay. Okay. Uh, just a second. Venkata Lakshmi will connect at one o'clock. Okay. Hello, Venkata Lakshmi. Sir, okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank okay. you. So, Ajay, these are the types of test scenarios that you have to tell in an interview. Okay. Okay. Now, what is the difference between smoke testing and sanitary testing? So smoke testing, we check only the minimum required functional test cases as working fine or um, expected or not. So mm -hmm. we see one example, mm -hmm. the user is able to log in or not. Yeah, you see the last examples are yes, mm -hmm. that comes under smoke testing. Mm -hmm. And what is sanitary testing? Sanity testing takes uh, new futures, sir. New futures existing are fine or not. So, sanity testing is end to end deep level of testing, right? It includes everything. Smoke testing is the testing on a very high level, hmm. right? Yes. Clear? Clear. Yes. So, uh, Ajay, can you give me an example of a defect with low severity and high priority? Low severity, high priority. Ah, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Suppose we develop any course, is company logo, any mistake in company logo, mm -hmm. it's no effect to by end users, mm -hmm. but it's, it's effect to brand value and company value. This mm -hmm. case, its priority is equal to low and uh, priority is high, severity is low. Sir. Right. Priority is high, severity will be low if brand of the company or website is not displayed properly. Okay. Okay, Ajay, I am done with the interview. Do you have any questions for me? Uh, no, sir. Thank yeah. you for giving the opportunity, sir. Same here. Thank you so much, Ajay, for coming today on our channel, RD Automation Learning and giving this mock interview. We wish you all the best for your career ahead. Thank you. Sir, this video should be available in YouTube. You can 